Good evening. Welcome to the Lamplighters Theater. In case any of you wandered in here by mistake and you don't know what's going on, we're about to do a play. It's called The Mask, a play of one act after another. So please make yourselves comfortable, sit back, relax. This isn't a very long play, but it does have a couple of different parts, so don't take off after the first part ends. Our play tonight concerns an ordinary person. We'll call him Guy Adams. Guy is seeking for meaning in life. And like most seekers, he tries one thing after another without really finding any satisfaction. And then, one day, he comes upon an amazing scene the most alluring, exciting, intriguing, voluptuous, boisterous, and colorful scene Guy has ever seen. Come to the party! Come to the party! Come to the party! Come to the party! Are oh, you looking for a bar? Come to the party! Searching and searching. It seems like such a long time. Some people tell me that's what life's all about. Just looking and looking and never being quite sure what I'm looking for. But I just can't believe that. I think I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a place to belong. A place to be long. I want somewhere to be for a long time. I'm looking for friends that I never have to leave. I'm looking for friends that will never leave me. For friends, did you say? If that is the case, you need look no further. You found the right place. Here you'll be accepted, respected, embraced. Join in with the end crowd and put on this face. <laughs> oh, no thanks. I'm all set. I've got a face of my own. But this is so cool. Relaxed and reptilian. It helps you blend in. Just like a chameleon. You need a new image. It really is true. Just try it. You'll like it. Come, take a good view. Look here in this mirror. Fantastic. It's you. Well, it may take a little getting used to, but it does have a certain charm, and it's very real. He loves his new image! Like birds of a feather! Come now, let's leave these two lovebirds together! <laughs> oh, it really is amazing what this thing does for me. Why, I look so serene, like somebody famous or important. Here I am, the world's famous philosopher, surrounded by my disciples, making mysterious comments on the meaning of life. Oh, wow, look at that. Even when I laugh, the mask shows nothing but a knowing smile. Why, I could be having a lousy day, and everyone would think I was in total control of the situation. I wonder, though, what if my mask should slip in an unguarded moment? What if suddenly everyone saw what I was really like? I better check this out. What does this thing look like from the back, anyway? No problem! I'm 360 degree, surrounded in virtual reality. Well, yes, I am in healthcare. And you can be sure my subsequent income is very secure. And what is your work and the income result? My friend, I don't work. I am a consultant. Whoa! Man, they just 
just grooving. Incredibly cool. I've followed them ever since I was in school. What do you think of this musical band? Hey, they're so good, they don't even need fans. Wow. How about the current political race? Seems like candidates trying to save face. Is there anything else that you can detect? It's too late to save face. He's saving his neck. This is amazing! How can it be? Suddenly, everyone listens to me. Yeah, this has never happened before. There's really something about that mask. Why, if I started telling people about the dream that I have of true friends, they'd all believe me and share in my dream. We could even start a movement. But I've got to be sure that I say it just right. I can't let it sound sentimental or trite. Oh, what does it matter how it comes out? The truth is the truth. Go on over there and start talking. Listen, my friends, I have something to say. I hope you can get what I want to portray. Guy, we all like how you're witty and gay. You add to the party. We hope you can stay. At least till we each go our separate way. Cause guy, I'll be honest, you're really okay. <laughs> Unused as I am to publicly speaking, I'll tell you that all of my life I've been seeking for real bosom friends who never will leave. It really could be if you'd only believe We'd share everything like sisters and brothers, and not live for self, but only for others. This is my dream, it must be yours too. So let's all decide how we're going to do it. You'd better quit now. It's not going to work. The more that you talk, you just look like a jerk. Whenever you try to get heavy or deep, you only wind up putting people to sleep. The sermon's over. Time to flee. Let's have ourselves a little tea. Step out the back, drag in the can, get out. Hypocrites. 
But I tell you, we ain't no different. Easy now, man. You're just having a bad trip. Bad trip? This whole scene's a bad trip. I just gotta be true to what's inside of me. If we're gonna talk about peace, we better have some. We better do what we say and don't compromise. But I don't know if we can. What can we do? He'll only get worse. That's true, of course. Unless he's coerced by the second most powerful force in the universe. Thank you. 
The scene changes. Our story moves to another time, one generation later. Guy Adams is older now, and like most people, he finally got used to wearing his mask. And through a typical set of circumstances, he acquired a child, a girl. Guy's daughter, uh, let's call her Colleen, has grown up to be a seeker, just like her father once was. And she, too, has found a mask to wear. But it is a mask of a slightly different kind.
It won't take much to move them toward our position. Cause when we block our power, they give us what we want. That's the main reason we're so haunted. They always gave us what we wanted. You know, when you get too profound, it makes us not want you around. Babe, my place later. And bring that box. As always, I'll leave the door unlocked. Forgotten man. 
today? The revolution only revolved full circle. Nothing's really been solved. Don't fret, little rebel. Another day is coming. You can always boycott lettuce or something. Quit it, Dad! You don't understand. It's no time to joke or pull out some canned philosophical chatter about the wheel of life. For once, could you just be real? So what's wrong with being entertaining? I doubt that you are really gaining anything by being depressed. And what does it matter about the rest of the world as long as we have each other? I can't think of anyone I'd rather spend time with than my little friend. Let the struggling regime just come to an end. I'm not your buddy. I never was. I wanted a father. Not Santa Claus who'd give me everything I pleaded for and not what I really needed. What good is a stupid plastic toy doll? and plastic house, and car, and all the plastic clothes in the plastic world. So I could grow up a nice plastic girl, and be put away neat, in my plastic case, by a plastic daddy with a plastic face. All right, here's the facts of life. Financial support for your civil strife is provided in part by a grant comprised of funds from a job that you despise, where your plastic dad works plastic hard to pay for your plastic credit card, and send you to an alternative school where you have learned that I'm a fool. That's not it, Dad. All I ask is for you to listen and take off your mask. I would if I could. What did you say? I said, all the world's a play. And all the men and women players, they wear their masks arranged in layers. When they take one off, there's another identical. I can't stand it when you get cynical. But I guess you really don't care, do you? Or want to know what I go through. I'm just a problem that could have been thwarted if you'd had the foresight to have me aborted! Enough! It's easy for you to take shots at me for not being who I'm not. You can say my words are trite and phony. You can claim my heart is hard and stony. But when you pick me apart till there's nothing left, then take a good long look at yourself. Penny, one lifeless, 
lonely moment after another. Oh, that sounds horrible. It is. But how come you're not in here already yourself? But please, please do everything you can to avoid it. How can I? Is there any way to escape such a terrible thing? There's only one way that I know of. If you can find a place to belong, true friends that will never leave you, then you won't have to have an image. And the real you, the person you were created to be, can come born. Does such a place really exist? Yes, of course, it must. But how can you be so sure? Because some of us who are trapped in here have escaped. They're not in here anymore. Really? Where can I find this place? I'm not certain. I've never been able to see where they went. They must not have mirrors in that place. But just start looking. It can't be very far. Look for a place where people can be honest and still be kind. Where the weak are accepted and the fragile defended. Where no one is lonely or unloved. Look for a place where faults are overlooked and failures forgiven. And when you find it, please, don't forget about me. I could never forget about you. I've longed to see you set free all my life, just as much as I've wanted to be free.